believe it's uh, only five bucks shipping. Good. All right, let's talk about We're some fun. The five blade tower slicer. I know. Yeah, five different blades. This thing, listen. Uh, you saw the grater. You'll love that. When it comes to slicing and dicing, this is what's going to take care of it. It's got a cup or a bowl underneath that catches the food. You place it on top, whatever it is on top, okay? And it's got the three different uh, inserts. You've got your wedging insert. You've got a large dicing insert. You've got a fine dicing or mincing insert. And everything in between, plus it also comes with a spiralizer. But look at this guy. You just place the top over the top of the vegetable yeah. fruit meter cheese, press down, and you get perfectly wedged. <laughs> hey, listen. I told you. All right. I gave the, one on. of these that to a bartender. But I know. And I mean, if that's all you use it for, is for prepping for your bartenders, okay? You can see how it gives a perfect wedge each and every time. I gotta show you this, okay, close up. Every piece is exactly like the last. Yeah. Okay? And everything goes right into the bowl. So if you wanna make french fries, you can change the blade. If you wanna wedge potatoes, okay? Now you don't have to use the bowl underneath. I like to, some, uh, but sometimes I like to just do a whole bunch of stuff like right on the countertop. If you wanna wedge potatoes, look at this. For, for baking, you put those on a cookie sheet, uh, how about apples? I mean, all you do is place it on top of the blade, you place the cover over the top, and press. And you get a perfectly wedged apple, okay? For caramel, yeah, melt down some caramel in yeah. the microwave. Now you can have your own little vegetable tray. It looks easy tray, to clean, too, way, which is another one. Apples. That, yeah, you yeah. just rinse it out. Super so. easy to clean, easy to use, and all, the, all you do to change it out, everything is so simple. It comes with instructions, too, but, you, you, I mean, really, it's so simple. You just twist the top. Now you can pull this out. You place the chopper insert in, place the top back on, and now you're ready to change out the inserts. So now, if I wanted to take the wedger out, okay, which I'm gonna pop out of here just like this, and I'm gonna put that that dicer inside, okay. okay? All you do is place it over the top, and now, instead of uh, wedging, now you're gonna dice, all right? So here's how simple this is to do. I'm gonna place it over the top. Place a vegetable all over the top. Maybe you wanna make french fries. You just push. You can make french fries by the mounds. You can make french fries by the pounds. I mean, you can make wow. enough french fries with this machine to feed your whole neighborhood. All you do is press down, and you get perfect french fries look each and every time. You gotta look but, at these. And every one is exactly the same, exactly like the last. Oh, how about this? How about carrot sticks for a stir fry? Or maybe you're making a little vegetable tray with a sour cream or yeah, an yeah, avocado yeah. dip. All you do is place it over the top, and press down on the lid, the blades do the work for you. So your fingers never get close to the blades because they're all protected by the cover. You just place whatever vegetable on top of that blade and press down, and look at that perfect carrot sticks. And again, every one is just like the last. That way for a vegetable tray, uh, maybe you want to do some zucchini. Right. Or, but now anything solid, okay, is going to come out like a french fry. So yeah. zucchinis are solid, you place it on top, <laughs> you get zucchini sticks. Look, okay? Now, right. If you want to dice, you need something that grows in layers, right. like an onion, cabbage, celery, and I'm gonna grab a bowl here because I like my onions to stay right. put. All you do is press, you get diced onion. I mean, wow. a half because an onion it cuts over against, the top. It cuts against the layers. If this is yeah. the only thing you use it for, I mean, let's face it, everybody hates chopping onions with a knife because you cry. <laughs> wow. You ever notice when you're chopping onions with a knife, the more you cry, the bigger the pieces end up? Yeah, I <laughs> because, know. I know. Because you want to get the job you done quick. Get it over Look at with. that. There's an onion and a half, about a cup and a half of onions, maybe two cups of onions, done in, in yep. seconds. And they all come out perfect, uniform, yep. and ready to go over a salad wanna, super stew. I want to remind people of something, too, and John, just, just uh, from earlier. So if you see a potato yep. that's larger than the bowl, you're going to want to snip the top off of right. it because obviously you'll see it's too big for the bowl. Just just take a little off the top. It's a little yeah. trick so yeah, that, you know, that makes it a little bit easier. Here's one uh, thing same that with I the love fruit, about this. Because I do that, just take the top off the fruit yep. um, because it goes through a lot easier and you just don't want to turn it so you don't have any problems at home. On taco um, night, yeah. watch this. What are you going to make, mean, if this is Are you doing Tomatoes? Yeah, I'm gonna do, this is one of the only machines I've ever found that'll dice a red ripe tomato. Place a half a tomato on top, you press down that lid, and you get perfectly diced tomato for tacos, for salsa, for homemade bruschetta, for salads. All you do is press, and you get perfectly diced tomato. And look, I mean, if you've ever tried to dice tomatoes by hand with a knife, 
Talk about a pain. Talk about yeah, time consuming. It, right. Yeah. Now you can and do you it. You have to have a razor easier. sharp knife because <laughs> even that won't go through right. skin, right? Yep. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different here because this is something that you can do at home as well, but it gives you an idea of exactly how this works. I'm going to put a couple of eggs on the fine grade, on the fine chopping uh, blade, yeah. and I'm going to hold the machine up. Okay. I'm going to try and hold this so the camera can see what happens underneath. Okay. When you press down on the lid, what happens here? I'm going to push down on these legs and push down on the lid at the same time. What happens is it wow. separates the food. I like to show you with eggs like this because you can actually see what's going on inside right, there and see kind of how it works. Yep. So again, all you do is press on the lid, watch those eggs separate as they go through there. Wow. So for egg salad, tuna fish, yeah. chicken salad, you can do three or four eggs at a time on here. Sure um, look at that. all you do is press and you get perfectly diced yep. eggs for egg salad look or for that. a potato salad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just I love for that, that alone. Yeah, I love seeing that too because I love egg salad. Or yep. if you're just making doing like a salad nichoine, you want to put eggs on top, whatever it is, you can pretty much put any fruit or vegetable That's inside right. here. Remember, as we said, you know, just cut the vegetables down to Here's size, however you want them, and fire them through the machine. I got another little tip too, because if you want to make, well, my kids love these things. They, I call them cucumber icicles, okay? I'm going to snip the ends off. I'm going to stand this up, because you can take this blade, all right? right? If you've got a very long vegetable, place it over the top of a fruit or vegetable like this and press down to the table, and you can make those long zucchini sticks. Make oh, cucumber that. icicles. Yeah. Make, I mean, uh, any better than that. I mean, it comes out perfect. Now, if those are too big, maybe you want them smaller, you can use the smaller insert. And again, I'm just going to snip the tip off here and watch this because when you place this over the top, it creates that the cut that it gives you, and then you just press it down to the table, and look at that. You get a <laughs> like an octopus. All right. You get perfect cucumber uh, icicles. Yeah, that's going in a real tall Bloody Mary right there. You're going to love that. $39.95. <laughs> hey, uh, Kyle, we have this still available in the gray and the red. I'm going to step behind you, John. Okay. <clears throat> while you get cleaned up there, and I want to show everybody uh, what you get when you order this. So, um, we give you uh, the unit itself, okay, with the little push lid on top. You can choose from gray, or you can also get red. Uh, you get a variety variety of different choppers inside here, even a spiralizer, but this, this is to do your wedges, all right? And then you get the two different blades. You get the, the small uh, blade for doing fine chopping, and then you get the large blade as well. We don't actually have the large blade out here, but yep. here it is. There, there we it is. go. Actually, oh, that's two that's of the That's the small one. Here you go. There you go. I'll show everybody. Yeah. So there's the large blade too. So you get both these so you can do the crazy things that John was talking about. There you go, John. Thank uh, you. If you want to pick up the uh, the season, uh, season with Authority book by Mark, we have that available. Do we have that? Yeah, we have that available on hsn.com. And don't forget about, the, Kyle, do we have any of the cleavers left? Can I get a count on the cleavers? <clears throat> Okay, so Mark, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Kyle just said we are down to 800 of the cleavers, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a moment or two. Uh, but anyway, grab this because I'll tell you, make it makes your chopping jobs easy. It does, right, right John? That absolutely does. All you do is press down the lid. It takes care of it. Does all the work Look at for how you. Simple. <laughs> all right, guys, 39.95. It's on FlexPay for $13.32. Five six one nine.